Embryos are an expensive, limited resource, and working with them is fraught with ethical dilemmas. Welcome to Biotechnica's YouTube channel. This video is to inform you that a new fertility breakthrough involving synthetic embryos is en route. Simply put, the definition of human fertilization is the union or joining of the egg and the sperm resulting in a fertilized egg, otherwise known as a zygote. Although stem cells mimic development, a stem cell-based model of the blastocyst is lacking. Its structure consists of a spherical thin-walled layer known as the trophectoderm that surrounds a fluid-filled cavity sheltering the embryonic cells. This is how a typical blastoid looks like. These inner embryonic cells form the embryo, while the trophoblasts eventually morph into the protective placenta that surrounds this embryo. From mouse blastocysts, it's possible to derive both trophoblast and embryonic stem cell lines, which are in vitro analogs of the trophectoderm and embryonic compartments, respectively. Now coming to mammals. Blastocyst, which is a hollow sphere made out of fewer than 100 cells, forms days after an egg is fertilized. Once this blastocyst is implanted in a uterus, the cells that form the sphere becomes the placenta, while the cells inside the blastocyst becomes the embryo. Now, scientists at the Maastricht University in the Netherlands have used trophoblast and embryonic stem cells, coaxed them to cooperate trophoblast and embryonic stem cells. The researchers from the present study have managed to successfully create an artificial embryo that incorporates, allows the cells to naturally intermingle, including the placenta cells. When they implanted their model into mice, cells were seen to divide and fuse with the mother's blood vessels, inciting pregnancy just like a natural embryo would. And to create this blastoid, they grew the inner and outer stem cells separately and later introduced them within a mixture of molecules that encouraged communication and mingling. Leader of the scientific team, Dr. Nicholas Rivone, says, For those fearing this may also result in human cloning, rest assured, this is the first time we have created structures in the lab from stem cells which have the potential to form the whole organism, the baby, the placenta, and yolk sac. And thanks to this study, we now have a new way to study the earliest stages of embryonic development and to explore the influence of environmental factors on development and disease. Dissecting these stages in more detail can help experts better understand, for example, why couples undergoing fertility treatment aren't seeing success in their embryos in planting. It could even help teams develop better methods of contraception. Thanks a lot for watching. See you around in our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.